you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. When we think about the federal impact and the military budget impact on local government, um, you know, I've got two people here from, uh, from my office that know this very well. We have our acting CAO, Brad Seaman, who was here. So I know he was taking copious notes. And Tom Himmler down there, up there, uh, you know, was taking notes and maybe trying to figure out where we don't have to cut. I mean, for us, the impact at the federal level, you know, unlike um, either a federal, even, uh, unlike the Congress or the state, where they've got to figure out, you know, what the impact it's going to have on the budget. For us, it's actually in the programs. Today, when we were doing our meeting about how we go for for the, the 2012 budget, uh, we were talking about those things that are impacted by federal spending. Our Social Security office, family services, uh, health department. Am I missing something, Brad? Most of them. Utility assistance. But those offices right there, the majority of the funds either come from the federal level or the federal level through the state to us. And so what we have to figure out when the federal government cuts back or doesn't have the money because they spend it somewhere else is how do we make up the difference? Well, in the county budget, we have very few options to raise revenue. So we've got to depend on the state to then give us revenues to make up the shortfall. So what we're, what we're faced with is the cycle of how do we provide services to the people who need it on the ground without having a direct impact on the budget process itself. So our way of doing it is, of course, we, we lobby our um, federal partners, the congresswoman, the senator, and other, play, other people at the federal level and say, listen, you've got to get your act together. But even if they don't, we still have to provide the services. So that's, the, that's excluding what we have to do in the economic development portion, which is how do we do infrastructure? So if there is no federal dollars that are helping us with our infrastructure, our roads, if there are no federal dollars or limited federal dollars that can help us with the social services at the county level, then we have to start doing what we're faced with right now is um, cuts. So the impact that's felt because of what happens at the federal level comes to programs that people <clears throat> have gotten to know that we then have to either phase out or provide less people who can provide those services. So the option that we have here at, 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 the, at the county level is, one, hoping that you know, there are sane minds at the federal level that will actually get it right and understand that the less dollars you have to send toward the states and the counties, the less we can do. So the more we're spending on defense spending or military spending overseas, the less we have in a limited amount of a, a pot of money. So it forces us to make some really drastic uh, decisions. And um, so I guess from our standpoint, it's what can we do to help shape the federal, federal thinking about how they spend money and what impact it has. The other impact it has on defense spending is because we're in the Washington region, a lot of the things that are employees um, are federal employees. So if uh, the defense spending is either going up because they're doing the military and they're cutting elsewhere, they're cutting other agencies, then a lot of our people who work in the county uh, lose out on their, on their jobs. So really for us, it's, it's a matter of how do we take these limited resources um, that we're getting, how do we make sure that the federal government is providing more, and you know, really our only impact at the federal level is, is lobbying Congress or lobbying the state to do, to do more.